So we will start from this method. So this is called as the IRL method. So IRL formula works like this. The L plus NL and NL minus NH, H minus L. So when we do the problem, we can understand it. So here is the explanation which is being like given. NL refers to NPV at lower rate. NH refers to NPV at higher rate. H refers to higher rate and L refers to lower rate. Here, the selection criteria is you have to select the project which has the highest IRR. Okay. And that's how it works. We look at the problem. So, so it states A and Co is considering a project which requires an investment of 60,000. The cost of capital is 13% and they have given you the estimated cash inflows. The cash inflows are 15,000, 20,000, 30,000. 20,000 for the fourth year. Our job is to calculate the IRR and tell whether the project can be disinvested or not. Okay. So, here we will start. This is a lengthy sum. Okay. So, we will start from here. Then we will go to the cash flow. Then we have to get a discount factor at some percentage. Uh, we will take whatever is given in the sum. We will take the same percentage. Then we will get the present value. Once this is done, again we have to do the discount factor at some other percentage and we have to get the EV. So, let us see how it works. So, we have to start from 0th year 1, 2, 3, and 4. 0th year is always a minus, it is a cash outflow, so 60,000. So, we will take the other numbers. So, the discount factor is for the first year is always 1. For 13 percent, we have these numbers. So, we will mark up here. So, 13 percent and for 5 year period, it is this box. Our discount factors are is only 4 years. So, we will multiply. So, 60,000 would come directly. The other numbers we have to calculate. We have got the numbers. We will get the NPV here. So, NPV is a positive number at 1955. So, if it comes as a positive number, it has to be like taken as a negative number on the next attempt. Okay, It has to go to a negative number. If this is a positive number, the other number when we calculate should go to negative. If this is negative, the other number should go to positive. So, we will increase the discount factor 17 percent and let us see how the answer works. So, for 17 percent and for 4 years, these are the numbers. So, we will take those numbers. So, the first one is always 1. Thereafter, we will check the numbers. So, multiply the cash flow into the discount factor and get the present value. So, 15,000 into 1. So, the answer comes to minus 3155. This is a negative NPV. Okay. So, we will now work out the IRR. So, the IR formula works like this, IRR equals to the lower discount factor plus, so we will open bracket, so NPV at lower discount factor, that is a numerator, divided by NPV lower discount factor again minus NPV at higher discount factor, close the bracket into higher discount factor minus lower discount factor. So, from the earlier thing, we have found out that there are like two discount factors. We have taken two discount factors, 13 and 17. So, 13 is the lower discount factor and higher discount factor was 17. So, we will put it here. So, that is about the formula. We have to get the other numbers. So, the other numbers are NPV at lower discount factor is 1955, that is a plus number, 1955, okay, minus, there is a minus in the formula, again there is a minus in the higher discount factor, minus 3155, minus 3155, so that is it, once we have inserted these numbers, the answer will quickly come to us. As this is a minus, minus and minus gets added. So, what happens is, 
we have we will arrive at a positive number 5110 so that is a positive number multiply that number into the different so different comes to 4 solve this entire part solve this entire part so from here to here solve it so we got 13 plus 0.3 Eight two five into four. Let's see how much we get. We get thirteen plus one point five three. So the answer comes to fourteen point five three percentage. So that is the IRR rate. Okay. So with this rate, if you compute NPV, if you are going to compute NPV, your NPV answer will become zero. Okay. So at fourteen point five three number NPV will become zero. If you want, you can try that. But this is the answer. So now whether should we accept or reject this project? See, the cost of capital is thirteen percent. That means if you are going to your capital is thirteen percent, and the income that you are going to get from the IRR is fourteen point five percent. That is your cost of capital. your irr is higher than the cost of capital that means you have to accept the project okay so the concept is accept the project so that's about the irr